that dinosaur discovery. The scientific world is still reeling from the discovery of actual Tyrannosaurus rex cells and soft tissue unearthed last week at a Montana excavation site. It's a tremendous find that scientists say could unlock the mysteries of extinction and could one day lead to real-life dinosaur cloning. Well, maybe. Well, North Carolina State University professor Mary Schweitzer is the leader of the discovery team that found these extraordinary specimens. She joins us now from Raleigh with more. Nice to see you, Professor. Thank you for having me. So tell us, how significant a discovery is this? Well, it has the potential to be very significant, but for right now, until we do further analyses, I think um, all we can say is it's really cool. <laughs> well, Professor, uh, as I understand it, this, this was sort of an accidental discovery. You had to, to split one of the bones in half because it was simply too big to get into a helicopter, and in splitting the bone, you suddenly realized you had this soft tissue on your hands. Is that correct? Well, it wasn't quite that sudden. He, um, they had to split the bone in the field, as was reported, and when it got back to the lab and um, Carrie Ansel began preparing it, she reserved some of the fragments for chemical analyses, and so it was treated slightly different than most dinosaur bone is in the field. Is that amazing? Is the fact that this stuff was fossilized as it was, of 70 million years old, you don't expect to find soft tissue, do you? Not at all, no. It's, it was utterly shocking. So you have to sort of rewrite the book as far as fossilization goes, I, I assume. Well, that's, that's the exciting part for me. I've always been very intrigued by how, uh, how things change in going from a living being to part of the rock record. And um, like I said, a lot of our science doesn't allow for this. All of the chemistry and all of the molecular breakdown experiments that we've done don't allow for this. So if this material turns out to be actual remnants of the dinosaur, then yes, I think we will have to do some, um, certainly rethinking of some of the basics of the model of fossilization. You know, well, Mary, Mary, when I was reading about this story, I was amazed that in some of the capillaries, when you went to, to pull them, they snapped right back. Are you amazed at the quality of these remains? Absolutely. Seven million years old, huh? It it's just doesn't seem possible. But yes, you can actually take the vessels, and they, they do have internal components and so you can take a probe and kind of squeeze those things out into solution and, and the, the vessels are fine. It's just I, I can't explain it to be honest. I Very cool. Seven million years old, huh? It's, it's just doesn't seem possible.